Hi, my name is Linda Jennings, and I'm the collections curator in the herbarium at the Beattie Biodiversity Museum at the University of British Columbia, located in beautiful Vancouver. Today, I want to start off with talking about my backyard biodiversity. Since we've gone into lockdown over the last two months, instead of being able to go into my collection and work in my collection, or being able to go out and press plants in this gorgeous spring we're having, Instead, I'm in my backyard and taking short, small walks in my neighborhood. And as I've been doing this, I've been realizing it's time to start pressing my own backyard. So what I wanted to do is start sharing with you just the common plants that I'm finding in my backyard and that you'd probably find in your own backyard. And hopefully along the way, you can learn a few of these plants' names and uh, some of their pollinators who might be visiting them as well. So I'm going to also be pressing these specimens all summer and I'm going to be posting those on my Instagram site and giving you a little bit of hints on how to kind of press different specimens, how they kind of react when they're drying and seeing if we can learn along the way how to make the best specimen for future research. So as you go along pressing your own specimens of your backyard biodiversity, just to keep in mind that you only want to press what's in your own backyard and if you're going to do your neighbor's yard you might want to check with them first just to make sure that's okay. And the other thing is in our local parks we don't want to be collecting at all because we really need to leave those plants uh, available for the wildlife. Um, and also places like Stanley Park and Pacific Spirit Park they're going to need a permit to actually collect in there because of course they want to know what kind of biodiversity you're collecting so that we can document it properly for future research. So I hope you join me and I hope you have a little bit of a closer look and start following me and we'll see the different kind of plants that we're going to see in our backyard. <laughs> Everything from blackberry to our little invasive cute geranium to even our little fringe cup and our little GM macrophyllum. So join me in the backyard biodiversity, ask questions, and let's learn together this summer about our own backyard biodiversity.